you're watching the Svinopolitan artery ligation step by step. So we started with packing of the nasal cavity with the neuropathies or the nasal packs soaked in modified Moffitt solution. This is carefully inserted in the middle meatus on the side of the septum, the uh, ethmoidal roof, and down to the inferior meatus. All of the block clots should be removed before starting to gain a, a better visibility. What you are seeing now, this is the middle meatus, the onsenate, and the bullethmoidalis. And in front of us is the grand lamella. To gain an access for uh, the grand lamella, we have uh, done a partial onsenectomy. So just feeling the, uh, the middle meatus and inserted. Um, the, the seeker inside the uh, maxillary antrum. Using the backbiter to cut the inferior part of the onsenet. Also, you can use the um, curved suction uh, for identifying the uh, maxillary antrum. A wide antrostomy is helpful to elevate the flap over the sphenopalatine artery. Carefully removal of the uh, inferior part of the antenna until we can see the whole ostium. Once you can see the uh, the uh, maxillary antrum, ostium, we I use the second knife to elevate the flap, the mucosa flap over the ground lamella. Using also the seeker for dissection is helpful. What you are seeing now, there is a white thick bone and a whitish bluish uh, thin bone. The thin bone is the ethmoidal bone, but the thick bone is the perpendicular plate of the palatine bone. A release incision can be done facilitating the um, your dissection. At that stage, you have to be very careful on uh, in the dissection using uh, your um, nasal packs or the neuropathy. We know that the artery will come from the lateral side, so the section will be more towards the media side. Now you can see the artery. The sphenopalatine artery 
can uh, be seen at the end of the uh, the this this the sesamoidal spine in this case i can't see the sesamoidal spine also the shape uh, of the artery is different from case to case so in this case it is a single big artery sometimes you can face the septal branch first and then the descending branch later but what we can see is just we have find that it's only single artery so either branch it early or branch it late this seem to be that branching late this is the ethmoidal spine and so we are dissecting over the ethmoidal bone just to see the end of the artery whether that's it's it's bleeding from behind or not usually the the first two clips are not uh, completely inserted as you need to stop the bleeding first You need to go around the, uh, the artery. So this is what you can see is the thick white uh, uh, palatine bone. I'm trying to go around the artery as much as I can. So I can dissect the artery to see whether there is any bleeding from behind. We use the legal clip. So there is an ap special applicator for the legal clip for the nose. And there are different sizes uh, as well, which is the small, the medium and the large size. In this case, we have used the small and the medium size, which comes in either a blue box for the small and white for the medium size. Once we are sure that the blood has been stopped, when we have ligated the artery, we uh, put a small piece of a gel form or, uh, or the surgery cell.